हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन ट्रिक नंबर 262 टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एन अमेजिंग मेथड फॉर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर दैट इज एच सी एफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली अकरिंग इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन अप टू क्लास टेंथ सो एवरी कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट should know this problem very well and spend only 10 seconds in answering this type of question in exam a number of methods are available to solve this question i will tell you the shortest method through which this can be solved now the problem is to find the greatest number that will divide the numbers 95 151 and 214 there are three given numbers leaving the same remainder in each case now a typical problem if you don't know the exact method greatest number which divides these three leaving the same remainder in each case now see the problem contains the word greatest greatest means highest so at the first glance of the question you should know that this question is Uh, of the category of finding hcf h stands for highest the problem contains the word greatest so we need to find the hcf of something now what is that something in one of my tricks i discussed a method of finding the hcf by taking the differences of the numbers now same thing i am going to do here these are the three numbers so i will take the difference of pairs of numbers see if i make pair of 95 and 151 so 151 minus 95 will be the first difference if i make the pair of 151 and 214 the difference 214 minus 151 and the third pair 95 and 214 214 minus 95 obviously i'll subtract the larger and the smaller so these three differences if you find these three differences and find the hcf you are through with the question now see that means we have to find the hcf of see 151 minus 95 51 plus 556 214 minus 151 so uh, 49 5963 and 214 minus 95 so if you subtract 100 114 plus 5 119 so these are the three differences and now for finding the hcf make use of the traditional method because these are easy to factorize 56 means 2 now the remaining number is 28 again 2 the remaining number is 14 again 2 and 7 similarly 63 this is divisible by 3 21 so again 3 and 7 119 now this number is divisible by 7 obviously because see this is 7 is the common factor between these two so we have to check by 7 first there is no other common factor between the first two numbers so check by 7 if you divide it by 7 then it gives you 7 the 7 49 7 7 49 so 17 into 7 therefore the hcf of the numbers is the common factor of the three numbers only common factor is 7 so hcf is 7 so the answer to this question is 7 very easy method and through a practice of 5 to 7 minutes taking 7 or 10 questions of this type you can master this concept and be able to solve this question within 10 seconds time now for illustration purpose i am taking one more example of three numbers this time i am taking 89 161 and 245 89 161 and 245 now the statement remains the same we have to find the greatest number which divides these three numbers leaving the same remainder in each case now the solution as in this case it is the hcf of 
माइनस एटी नाइन टू फोर्टी फाइव माइनस वन सिक्सटी वन एंड वन सिक्सटी वन नो दिस इज टू फोर्टी फाइव माइनस एटी नाइन सो द थ्री डिफरेंसेज आई हैव टेकन नाउ सी दैट इज द एच सी एफ ऑफ इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट सिक्सटी वन माइनस एटी नाइन दिस गिव्स यू सिक्सटी वन प्लस इलेवन सेवेंटी टू टू फोर्टी फाइव माइनस वन सिक्सटी वन सो जस्ट सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज टू नाउ फाइव माइनस वन फोर एंड फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स इज एट वन फोर्टी फाइव प्लस इलेवन वन फिफ्टी सिक्स सो द थ्री डिफरेंसेज आर सेवेंटी टू एट्टी फोर एंड वन फिफ्टी सिक्स नाउ मेक फैक्टर्स सेवेंटी टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू थर्टी सिक्स टू एटीन टू नाइन थ्री इंटू थ्री एट्टी फोर कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू फोर्टी टू टू ट्वेंटी वन थ्री इंटू सेवन एंड वन फिफ्टी सिक्स टू दिस गिव्स यू सेवेंटी एट सो अगेन टू थर्टी नाइन थ्री एंड थर्टीन सो एच सी एफ ऑफ दीज थ्री नंबर्स इज नॉट इन द कॉमन फैक्टर्स देर इज वन टू विच इज कॉमन देर इज एनदर टू विच इज कॉमन एंड देर इज ए थ्री विच इज कॉमन नो दर फैक्टर इज कॉमन देर फोर द एच सी एफ इज टू सो द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर दैट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर इज ट्वेल्व see how easily we can find these type of questions and if you start thinking of methods in competitive exams you cannot get the answer easily so practice these questions and come out successfully in competitions keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it